All right, so you just outgrew your storage. And like your waistline after Christmas, it's time to step up a size. But what size? It's not like there's a fitting room for storage, is there? <laughs> Pure Storage offers non-disruptive upgrades from Flash Array X to XL. And if you're not sure if you're ready to make the step up in your storage, then I've got some great news for you. If your storage feels a little bit tight around the waistline, are we still doing that pants thing? Then head on over to Pure One and try on an XL for size. We are, aren't we? And to find that perfect fit and see what array is going to suit us best, we can go into Pier 1 and perform some capacity planning. So if you're a current Pier Storage customer, just go to pier1.purestorage.com. And if you're sending us phone home data, then you're going to be able to see all of your arrays right within here. Now, as we're doing capacity planning, we want to look beyond just the needs of today and look into the future. And so that's why we're on the planning page here. But if you do want to see how your appliances are performing right now, you can view them on the appliances page or you can go a little bit deeper into the performance and capacity pages. But these are all point in time. Now, inside the planning page here, we can actually project our load out up to three months here. And for this particular array, I can see that I've already got a bit of an issue here because the projected load is at 100%. Now, down here, you can see our current load is, you know, kind of flirting at that 100% line. And if we go out into the future, uh, we've got 100% right here uh, within about a month. So that's an issue that we're going to need to address. Now we can look at migrating workloads off of this array and onto other arrays. But what I really wanna show you is how we can look at upgrading this array from its current model, which is a uh, X90R2 flash array to something a little bit bigger. And so we can do that by going into the simulate hardware button, which is available here or up here. As long as we have this array selected, we can click on either one of these and we can go into the hardware simulation. Now, you know, again, we can see the model of this current array. We can see the capacity configuration uh, as well as the current controller. Now let's look at another controller because the load is what's really high capacity. Um, you know, about 75% that's still uh, our projected capacity is actually 77%. So still getting a little bit high there, but the real concern here is our projected load, which is at a hundred percent. So the easiest thing we can do is just looking at just doing a quick controller swap and upgrading this to an X90 R3. And what this is gonna do is eh, it buys us just a tiny little bit. You know, we're at maybe 99% versus 100% load in that one month period. So that's not quite enough. Now, one of the cool things we can do here with our flash arrays is we can actually perform non-disruptive upgrades from a flash array X to a flash array XL. And so we can also model that within Pier 1 to see what is this actually going to look like. So down here, you can see I've actually got an XL170 um, available. So let's just click on that and model that. And right here, we can already see like upgrading that to an XL, it buys us a whole bunch, right? Our simulated load is about 56% versus 100%, right? And that's in that same one month time period. Um, our projected load here across the three months is gonna reach 65. And then we've also increased our capacity a bit, 63. Now, the reason why we don't have the XL130 available is because the capacity here, you can see we've got our installed capacity is uh, 994, which is greater than what the XL130 can support. So if we drop this down just a little bit and maybe take this uh, down to 91 terabytes, now we've got the XL130 available. So let's take a look at what that looks like. If I go into 130, yeah, still buys us a little bit here, right? We're at 74% in one month time period. Projected load across all three months is 88%. So yeah, that buys us a little bit, but I think for this particular situation, I like having a lot more headroom. There's gonna be more projects, which by the way, we can model those within Pier 1 as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, here you go, XL170. This is the configuration that I wanna use, and I've got a projected capacity of 66% across the next three months. And once you're happy and love your new Flash Array XL configuration, you can take things to the next level and request a quote directly from within Pier 1. From there, your account team will sit down with you and walk you through the steps to perform this non-disruptive upgrade. And if you want more information right now, you can check out the links below. 
So everybody, that's gonna about wrap things up for today's episode of Digital Bytes. Thanks so much for checking us out. And until I see you in the next episode, stay pure.